Good afternoon. My name is Keith Peterson. Welcome to my Cardinal RG. I have, uh, as you see, a dual Avidine 540 stack. I also have an Aura here. And uh, my purpose of the flight here today is to show you a little bit about how all of these devices show uh, weather. Um, it's a hot, sticky day here in northern Illinois, just west of Chicago, outside the, uh, the TCA Mode C Ring Class B. What do they call it these days? And um, uh, so what I've got here is um, uh, my, uh, my uh, Avidines here have got, of course, ADS-B. And uh, they also have the uh, PWX-760 um, uh, spherics detection device that uh, looks for lightning. So um, I have the option here on the weather overlay screen to turn on different parts of these weather on different systems. So I'm going to put the regional radar on the top one, continental U.S. radar on the bottom one. I'm going to put strike on both of them. See how that goes. I also have, as I mentioned, the uh, portable Garmin over here which is going to show you my WXI weather. Uh, I think I'll zoom in a little bit on that. And as that weather starts to come to life, we'll, uh, we'll see what that has to say to us. So I'm planning an uh, imaginary trip to Oshkosh in uh, uh, consideration of the uh, fact that it starts in a couple of days here. So we'll just imagine that we were going to travel up to Oshkosh. We've got our navigation system set. We have a line drawn. And uh, we're ready to go. So... Pretty much going to run this thing uh, continuously. I think I may do a long version and a short version of this video. Let's see. Yep, I figure out the right way to go here. As you see, I have the screen. Yeah, I'm going to uh, actually power back a little bit here once we get off the ground a bit more. I uh, have some concerns about arriving at the weather. If we look down here, we're already seeing strikes here. We're seeing strikes here. Those strikes are pretty close. So they're uh, over this side of Rockford already. Never seen strikes. So let's fly at that for a little bit. So there's a 30 mile scale. Did you see the strikes we're seeing? Uh, I'm going to get to heading up mode here. There you can see we've got strikes already at 30 miles out ahead of us there. Our. Uh, ADS-B has not yet woken up. If you look over here, you can start to see the, uh, the very uh, colorful palette of, uh, of weather up to the north. And uh, it's interesting that there's lightning showing so close right in front of me here when the, uh, the, the, the rain uh, echoes are way off in the distance. So there's another bunch up here. There's a big bunch up at 50 miles. There's a bunch at 70 miles. Most of them are actually out west. The lightning strikes are more out west. So I'm going to turn to north here. Get myself uh, heading up here as well. And then we're just kind of trying to float here for a little bit. But 2,000 feet doing 80 knots. Last time I did a video like this about the weather, um, I ran into a gust front. And it was uh, much more entertaining than I hoped for. So... So now you can see all of our strike finders up here. We got green ones, we got yellow ones, we got red ones. So that's what we call cell mode, as I recall. And it's um, it's telling us something about the intensity or the frequency of the strikes. Now I have this one decluttered, right? So the strikes show a lot better on the decluttered screen. You notice my nav is down to nothing here. Here I've got high nav. Uh, of course, we can we can run the nav down, and we can get this one. Oh, you know, that's land, sorry. We can get the land down to where it's black in the background. Um, and then we can see the strikes a lot better. A usual mode is to navigate on the top one and run weather and traffic on the bottom one, just as it set them up differently that way. So, I don't know if you can see then the reflection. It's really a, a shiny screen, unfortunately, on the Ara. It shows us driving into some pretty serious um, rain there. So, strikes are getting pretty crazy up there. And again, aha, here we go. So, which one's coming in? That's a Continental. It's starting to come in now. We've just got a few bands of it. So, the blue stripes are telling me there's no coverage there. It's, uh, it's expected to have data from that area. Something about the data blocks that it's received. But it didn't receive any data. 11 o'clock. 
So that's interesting. Evan I tells me some stories there. I roll out quite a ways here. You see how far out the lightning is showing. Showing a real nest out there beyond 160 miles. So I think that may be a phantom. I think the lightning is really between that 80 and 100 range. But still shows only little areas on the... Uh oh, okay, look at this. It looks like it was there all along. Um, I just needed to scroll out further. I was in too tight of a scale. So I'm being nervous it's close, close here. Here's the 50-mile scale. So there we go. It's uh, showing at 50 miles. This one has not yet picked up. The Con US has not yet picked up that. And then again, the blue stripes tells me it's not getting coverage there. So there we go. I can, I think, touch on that. And it says that's 27 miles away. And that leading edge is now 38 minute miles, nautical miles away. So, hence my uh, very slow cruise here. Got my nose up at 80 knots right now. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. If we zoom in further, you can see the lightning strikes. It's a little harder to pick them out there. Here, we can turn off the continental U.S. weather uh, radar and see just the lightning strikes here, just the weather here, which is a nice way to do it. And it does correlate very well, it looks like, with the WXI weather. Of course, we can zoom in. We can uh, pan a little bit. We keep trying to pan back. So, a little better just to probably just to look like that. And then uh, going back here, I think we got a reset on the uh, on the weather. See if we get. To, no, we still just have some stripes on the continental U.S. So you can see why it's handy to have multiple sources here. You can kind of play them off each other and sure, uh, make sure you know what you're looking at. Okay, so with that, I'm going to swing it back around for home. Uh, we'll see if we can get home before that lightning out on the west finds its way here. I did check the uh, the pace of arrival of this uh, weather before I took off, and it looks like it'll be at our airport in about two hours from the rate I'm looking at. Definitely one of those hot, sticky nights when uh, you know there's something in the air. As you see, it's lost track of what direction I'm going, but it is giving me strike data on the ground. Um, so again, it's showing uh, it's showing me traveling west. I'm, I'm pointed west right now, which is close. Um, if we do north up, can we do north up here? Yeah, there we go. We can do north up, and it shows there. This one's just woken up, and it uh, it's pulling the data off the TWX 760. So now that, uh, since we, we did a little bit of work on the 760 to improve the noise, improve the noise back there, separated some cables and some wires and things and followed the advice of uh, Avidine to, uh, to kind of tune up the installation a little bit. Um, they gave us some additional instructions, which really helped. And now sitting here on the ground, look at this. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a good, clear uh, lightning signal from 200 miles out. And uh, it's given me intensity, it's given me updates. Uh, displaying on both of them very nicely, so I'm very uh, very enthused about that uh, that lightning sensor now. Okay, hey, it's been fun. Thanks. Talk to you later.